to make a new relation to it. Because the Holy Spirit, even if it will come after liturgy, the divine liturgy, it come upon each one of us. When you married or baptized or any divine, divine mysteries we have done in this church, we have connection with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can give us a big grace. Make one of you a deacon or reader or chanter. And after that, this Holy Spirit can make him a priest like Father Polite. Not the power of our priesthood or anything of us. It's the grace of the Holy Spirit. But it consists of prayers for the Holy Spirit to come down and make this person from deacon and elevate it to priest. We, as priesthood now, we have a gift. It's free. You will have this gift now as a free gift from God. But as I said to you, I as prayed, you have to protect it from anything bad. Because this world, as you know, we have a lot of things, bad things, everywhere. Everywhere in the whole world, we have bad things. How we could stand against them, against it, we can stand against it by making our life good. So, you will be a priest in the Church of Christ. You will obey him by obeying the bishop. As the bishop said to you, you have to do. This is our church. It's love and tapinusi. What is it? Tapinusi. Tapinusi. Tawadu. Humbleness. Humility. Humble. Humility. Humility. And uh, by obeying the bishop, he can send you everywhere. <laughs> everywhere he wants. We will see where we have a reason to have a parish or to serve a parish. You can go there without saying no. Why? Because this is the contain of our church. We are obeying Christ by serving Him by this holy. You chanters, you chant for whom? For the priests? No. You chant for God. For the believers, no. You, the believers, you are praying. For whom? For yourself. And for God to give you the free gift of goodness. And free gift of being son of God. We are human. We are all sons of God. But please, son of God does not eat his brother. Don't ever eat the other one. Because if you want to eat him, it means that you are a bad person. This world won't us to be bad people. Do you obey them or obey God? We have to obey God. God asking us to be holy. Do you want to be holy? The church will make you holy. The Holy Spirit will make you holy. Our church, if you go inside, 
You see icons of the holy man inside it, or icon above. Why? To see them, to be, to wish to be like them. Why we have icons in the church? Just for beautiful, to be church beautiful? No. No. Not just like this. It like, it seems, it means we have to be like them. We have to be holy like them. For you as a priest, I will give you a gift. This is a robe, a prayer robe. We can, we can defeat the devil by prayers, by prayers. If you hold the prayer in your life, if you will say it every day, you have something to do to make everyday prayers, you will be in a good situation. If he lost the prayer, and any one of us, not just priests, any one of us will lose the prayer, God will not know him anymore. How we can be son of God? Like this? By baptism? Baptism? No, not it's a start. But we have all our life to be near by Christ by prayers. You will see a lot of people or some of people saying bad something about you. You will find. I hope you will not. But you will find because a human is a human. Can say the bad and the things, the good things. How you can be with them. How can you without a prayer? You have to pray for them and you have to listen what the people say. Not to obey them, to obey the Jesus Christ and the bishop. To obey the Jesus Christ and the bishop. And maybe they are right. You have something to do it in a suitable way. Maybe, if it's not with the canon of the church. If it's against the canon of the church, no. You have the gospel, you have the canon, you have everything from Jesus Christ to elevate it, elevate them, and to give it them back in the second life to Jesus Christ. But, if you will give them back to Jesus Christ and someone eat something of them and making wrong of them, gospel or preaching or uh, visiting ill people or making the parish in good situation, you will not give them back to Jesus Christ as we say now, few, you, you will lose a lot of things. Today, we have memorials, how we say it? Remembrance. For whom? For martyrs. You will be martyrs in the church, but with love, but with holy cross. Our Jesus Christ, you know all of you, is they hang him on the cross. 